Hello friends, today we will discuss the difference between scalars and vectors. Now let us discuss today about two quantities called scalars and vectors. To understand the difference between two, let us take an example. Now suppose you are going in your car or bike. Now your vehicle must have speedometer which shows the speed. That is your vehicle must have this. In front of steering you have speedometer. Now what is the function of speedometer? Speedometer tells us about the speed. Okay, suppose the speed of your car or bike is 50 km per hour. Okay, now suppose you have certain instrument which shows that you are going in north direction with 50 km per hour. So another instrument that will show the direction also. Okay, so the 50 km per hour means only the magnitude or value. Therefore, the friends, the quantities which have only magnitudes or values are called scalars. And the quantities which have magnitude and direction also, these are known as vector quantities. Okay, so 50 km per hour, it is just a value, no direction. So these quantities which have only magnitudes or values are called scalars. And the quantities which have magnitude as well as the direction these are called the vector quantities so scalar quantity has magnitude only but no direction vector quantity a vector quantity has both magnitude as well as direction now more examples scalars distance is a scalar mass is a scalar your mass 60 kg it's just a scalar it has the value only no direction speed just i have discussed is a scalar Displacement is a vector, weight is a vector, velocity is a vector. Now, I will discuss about the difference between distance and displacement in my coming lectures. Now, suppose you are traveling from point A to point B and the straight line, the straight line will tell us about the displacement. The straight line means you know that you are traveling from A to B. So this is displacement, direction is given. Another, another method can be, you can move from A to B via this direction. It has no direction. It is the path, total path followed by to travel from A to B. So it is a scalar. Okay, so distance is a scalar and displacement is a vector. Weight, why weight is a vector? Because weight means a gravity, gravity is acting upon the mass and gravity has a definite direction towards the earth. Earth is pulling you towards itself. Okay, so it has the direction. So weight is a vector. So how can you represent a vector? You can represent a vector like this. Suppose you have a vector quantity A and just write the A and arrowhead upon it so arrowhead what is arrowhead an arrowhead at the end of the line pointing towards the direction of a this is the arrowhead is pointing towards the direction of a vector a with arrow and arrowhead is pointing towards the direction of a and if you write simply a then it is representing the magnitude of the vector a the value of the mag vector a so magnitude is represented simply like this or by like this so graphically any vector a is represented by a line whose length is equal to the magnitude of a denoted by magnitude a and with an arrowhead at the end of the line pointing towards the direction of A, like this. So, my dear friends, I hope you have understood the difference between scales and vectors. Please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.